Welcome back to Living 808. The Punahou Carnival is known for its fun rides and great food, but every year they also have an incredible art gallery. And here to tell us all about it is Therese Bagley, the art gallery co-chair and artist Kelly Sueta. Aloha, you guys. Aloha. And I was, I, we're in the midst of the art right now. I am so excited to have you guys here because this event is incredible. I mean, when you talk about one of the biggest pop-up galleries, this is it. So tell us all yes. about it. Well, thank you for having us here. And yes, it is the largest pop-up art show in the state of Hawaii. Wow. Yes, and we're going to be featuring over 250 artists. We have over a thousand pieces and we have 2D and 3D um, from glass to wood bowls and different mixed media. So lovely. And you mentioned that hundreds of artists. That is incredible. Yes. And of course, Kelly, you've been one of those artists for decades now, over 30 years. 30 so years. let's talk about your experience. Well, I remember the, it was like yesterday uh, <laughs> that I remember going to the first one. I was young, just right out of college, really. And I had this incredible opportunity to show at, at the carnival and surrounded around the greatest artists in Hawaii and, um, and young and old and everybody. And it was so inclusive and it was just a great venue to, to be able to show as a young artist. That's so neat. And, and let's talk a little bit more about your artistry. So what's your typical medium? So I'm known as uh, like a landscape painter, oil on canvas. Oh, nice. I'm known as being the guy who always brings wet paintings to the, <laughs> to, to the gallery. But uh, this is one of my paintings here. Uh, when it's Gorgeous. a scene of the pineapple fields in, in, uh, on the North Shore. North Shore. Yeah. So, yeah. So I went to school oh. in San Francisco and then came back to the islands became a full-time artist right out of college and have been painting yeah for the last 30 years wow that is beautiful thank you how long does a piece like this take you um it takes like a day or so I paint pretty quick That's fast. Uh, yeah I try to do it's a wet on wet technique so you kind of need to manipulate the paint while it's oh, still so you have to be quick with yeah. it then. awesome okay well that's Kelly's piece can you talk yeah, about so some other ones? A, a small sampling and a lot of these artists have been at the gallery for years so we have Bob Butts with the bowls and also these are Andy Cole. Uh -huh. This is a uh, painting by Mark Brown, which also we have, as you see, different sizes mm -hmm. and also different price points. And this is Yvonne Chang. This is one of hers oh. on Kozo paper. Beautiful. Yes. So. And, and let's talk a bit more about the event itself because this art gallery, I mean, when you talk about so many artists being able to be featured, how has that impacted the artist's community? It's been really incredible. Um, like I said, you know, I was showing as a, as a young, just out of college, uh, but you mix in with all these seasoned artists and it's a great place for collectors to go as well as students. Um, so you get this incredible mix of people who get to experience the art. I love to go to also get inspired to see what people are doing and see different techniques. Um, and so it's just been a really wonderful uh, kind of gathering place for art and all in one place. And it's hard, you know, in Hawaii, there's not a lot of places to show. And so it's one area where thousands of people go through the gallery to get to see the work. So it's a really great venue. Such incredible exposure, too. Yeah, totally. So that's really neat. And, I mean, when we talk about it, I mean, it's really not just at the place. So let's talk about how we yes. can how we yes. can shop here okay. because it even lives online. It does. And so first we have an opening night that is before the actual carnival. So that is a week from today and that's okay. 5 30 to 8 30. We're also in a new location this year at Bishop Learning Commons. And so that's important for people to remember. Okay. But after opening night and people can't see the art online until then, but after that it will be online for people to view. They can go to the Punahou Carnival website and there's a link there. And they can also put an inquiry inquiries to buy and we have shipping this year both domestic okay. and international shipping awesome so, yes okay so when you talk about a worldwide influence and reach potentially that is yes. so cool okay so one more time because again the opening it's on, so you said a week from today, so Tuesday. Yes, so Tuesday, okay. 5.30 to 8.30, and then we will have be at the actual carnival during the carnival hours from 11 to 11 on that Friday the 2nd, and then on the 3rd from 11 to 9. We do close a little bit earlier. Perfect. But. And for that opening day, because I feel like everyone's going to want to go for that early access, yeah. get yes. your first bids in. Can you already buy it at that you opening can. day? You can. You absolutely can. Okay. And you, it is, you should be there to buy because they do go fast. So do people need, can you just walk in? Do you need to make reservations for the opening night it is open to the public so awesome. you can just come and show up and come view the art and you know purchase a piece and wonderful yes. and then if not the opening night of course they're going to be at the Punahou Carnival you can see their website on 
the screen right now. We'll have their website on our website at k22.com and also link you over to the Punahou Carnival because I know so many folks are going to want to head over and enjoy. But this is such a shining moment of the carnival. So thank you guys so much for, well, one, putting it yes. together, but two, joining us today. Yeah. yeah. Thanks to the volunteers like yes. this. Yes, yeah. we have together. a huge group of volunteers. Yeah. So it's, Love yeah, the that. junior class of 2025. Yes. And so we have seven student chairs that also help put this together. Love so it. We're just very grateful. So shout out to all the students and all yes. the parents that help make this possible. Thank you guys yeah. so much. Oh, thank you, Kelly, right. for your time today. Oh, anytime. You guys are welcome back, especially with art like that. You yeah. gotta teach me next time. Sure.